Hi, I was trying to make another video, but then my mailbox was flooded by people asking me to rectify stuff. So I looked at them, and as famously said by a wise philosopher, My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. I should add, I aged 10 years and developed cancer. There are two of them. Let's look at the first one, which is a guy who's jump starting a car using his body as the jumper cable. You see here, the car battery is dead, doesn't turn on, so he puts his hand on a good battery and he can create arcs through his fingers and he jump starts the car using his body as the jump start cable. I'm extremely disappointed, not in the guy who made the video, obviously it's satire, but in the few people who believe this sh First, Fearless818 tries to explain that it is impossible. But then an internet warrior steps in and says, well moron, electrical current flows through the human body as long as that person isn't grounded. What does it have to do with grounding? And then he also says, I do electrical work for a living. Sh is simple. And another guy agrees with him, thanks my dude, you explained that perfect. And then our poor fearless guy says, wow, first read what I said, you must be the worst electrician in the world, which I agree with. Then our warrior says, get a new job, what does low voltage mechanic know about electricity? Touching the positive and negative discharge the battery. Can you believe that? What the head works on cars and doesn't know that fifth great fact. Oh, somebody revoke his license already. And then someone else asks, can someone explain this to me? And another warrior says, he's not grounded. He's probably standing on something. What does grounding have to do? How can people believe this garbage? Am I a joke to you? I am the well, of course, you guys who watch my videos are obviously big brains. So slap like on this video to celebrate your big brains. You already know that human body is not capable of such bullshit. You know, don't you? But big brain doesn't come naturally. You need to study and experiment. So go to brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video, where you can learn knowledge through interactive courses and exercises doing math, science, or computer problems. Use the link brilliant.org slash electroboom, and not only you can get 20% off of the membership, you can now give the premium subscription to your friends or loved ones so they can finish their day a little smarter. Well, let me explain. Human body is made of meat and skin. The meat inside is somewhere between 3 kilo to 5 kilo ohms and the skin is above 100 kilo ohms so the meat inside is like a short circuit compared to the skin but still it is millions of times more resistive compared to a jumper cable see I showed in the previous video that jump starting a car requires tons of current you can see here that the inrush current into the crank motor is around 750 amps to run say 100 amps through the body meat at 3 kilo ohms you would need 300,000 volts which would mean 30 megawatts across body you know what happens to people who run 30 megawatts through their body they vaporize so to jumpstart the car, not only he needs to burn away all the high resistance skin to get to the low resistance meat, his meat or bones must be made of copper or something to be only a few milliohms. Fine, let's assume he's a superhuman with copper plumbing as his bones. He's putting his hand on both positive and negative terminals of the source battery and the other hand on both terminals of the dead battery, implying he's running both power lines through his body. What now? He has two isolated sets of copper plumbing inside? No. Okay, let's assume he's only connecting the positive terminals and the negative terminals are connected separately. He still needs to be made of copper plumbing because you know what happens to normal people. So if you ever had a doubt, don't. But if you're still asking how did they do it, then it's a job for Captain Disillusion. But I'm sure he has better stuff to do, so I'll see if I can feel his shoes. Because it's all acting and video editing. Let's see if I've learned anything from Captain D's videos. See these arcs when he's snapping his fingers? They are super strong and would typically flash the entire underneath the hood. But they don't. It seems those are superimposed on the video. It should be easy to do in video editing. Now, this part is a bit tricky. If I go through it frame by frame, you see a white outline around his arm that looks like they cut the graphic there. As Captain D says, something like rotoscoping. So that arm doesn't belong there. And another suspicious thing is this bright glowing line under his hand. 
His hand itself should be glowing from the heat. It seems they are shorting some metal rod there. I think they actually exploded something in the car for the effects. Because here you can see the arcs are actually lighting up the inside of the car. So I think they blew something up first, then later the guy put his hand on the battery, then they mixed the videos. I think they shot the videos and added all the motion and shaking later. And they also reduced the video quality to sh so that they can hide all the video editing imperfections in low resolution and shaking. My editing skills are no good, but let's see if I can recreate a similar scene. I have a hairdryer heater element and I'll just tape it to the table so it doesn't move. Then we need live wires, which I'll just plug it in right here. Now, I can touch live wires because my body can tolerate it, but you don't try it at home. So, I touch the live wires here, and then I can touch the heater element and turn it on. Just like that. The wire is not plugged in. What, you think I'm crazy? I recorded the whole thing first with nothing happening. The tape is important because it keeps the element fixed in place for all shots. I also recorded with fixed focus and lighting so nothing changes between the shots. Then I just blew up a capacitor beside the wires. And then I just turned the element on and off. Then I mix these together and we have this. And BAM! I hope Captain D is proud. And of course I don't have any special powers, but I'm sure if you cut my clip and share it somewhere, a bunch of people will believe it. So that's that. Of course quality video editing is much harder for me, so I have to do my stunts for real. I still have some skin left and the knowledge to keep myself safe, so you don't try this at home. Or outside. Why do they say don't do it at home? Now the second thing was a stupid product called the biocharger. It claims it has healing and recharging powers. These guys are just trying to trick you out of your money. We all have natural electricity within us, but modern life takes a lot of energy and we can all do with a recharge. Biocharger NG, a hybrid subtle energy revitalization platform that stimulates and invigorates the entire body, improving health, wellness, and athletic performance. This unprecedented tech It's just a basic Tesla coil with a bunch of glass containers with different gases inside that glow with different colors. When optimal cellular voltage is achieved, your health improves. What the hell does that mean? Living cells store energy as chemical energy. They don't have electrical recharging stations inside. I showed you in one of my videos that the low pressure gas beside the Tesla coil starts glowing as a ball of plasma. Let's try it. Beautiful. That clip of my video gets shared around a lot and it's funny when people ask me to rectify it. It's my own video for God's sake! And Physics Fun Channel showed how different gases glow at different colors beside a high voltage Tesla coil. And that's that. A Tesla coil creates a lot of radiation and can run some current through your body if you're close to it. If that had any healing powers, I would be a superhuman by now. You could just sit in a microwave oven and turn it on because that's all it does. Except the Tesla coil energy is much lower and doesn't cook you immediately. And since I visited their website, their ad starts popping on my Facebook page. This makes it even more dangerous. These people have money to throw behind their BS. The problem with this health and healing mumbo jumbo is that it takes so long and it's very hard to do a proper research and get any meaningful results. So in most cases, if there is no harm, nobody bothers to check them. And ignorant people pick it up and make it popular and think it actually works. The truth is that it is proven that the mind has a great power over body, as called in medicine as placebo effect. If you strongly believe that something will work for or against your health, then your mind will affect your body functions and that thing will likely affect you. Its effectiveness is uncertain though. For example, when I use my Tesla coil, I constantly think long exposure to its radiation might be bad for me, so afterwards I feel a bit weird. But those people have been told that the same device heals them, so some of them feel better afterwards. Its radiations don't do anything to us, it's just our minds making us feel better or worse. In that sense, if you need mental help for mental or physical healing, definitely first see a professional. But if you want to also utilize the placebo effect, don't throw your money at fake products, create it for yourself.
Go to a beautiful garden or a beach. Pick up a shiny rock or a shell. Tell yourself that it was taken from a special place and has natural energy. Carry it with yourself and keep reminding yourself that it is your special lucky item and is helping you. As a side note, placebo is about the power of your mind over your body because they have a physical connection, not a magical power of mind over the universe. So don't go worshipping idols. Your mind can change the world by your physical actions. So act. Although wearing my merch gives you special powers. If you really make belief in your mind, then your mind may actually do the trick and placebo effects come to your rescue. Although it might be pretty hard to convince yourself that a useless piece of rock actually does anything, because after all, it's just a rock. There is a very good video on the subject called The Power of Suggestion by Vsauce. Watch it afterwards. In that sense, it might be easier to believe that a medically useless but a super fancier looking device invented by the mysterious Nikola Tesla has healing powers. And if you believe it, it might actually work as a good placebo. You can buy this one from one Tesla. The fancier looking it is and the more money you throw at it, maybe the greater the placebo effect. So if it actually helps you heal, is it too bad? Well, this one can't trick me, I know how it works. So if I ever need healing, I'll get a holy rock from the depths of the Mariana Trench. And I suggest you also believe in what can be scientifically proven, unless it's harmless to you and the people around you and comes for free. Because anyone asking for money for a placebo is a scammer in my books. That's why I like you to learn and elevate your logic and thinking. Go to brilliant.org slash electroboom and become a free member or get 20% off of your premium membership for full access. You can also gift brilliant.org's premium membership to someone else, spark a lifelong love of learning and get appreciated for your gift for once. I personally enjoy solving their problems and almost got 100% once. There are also tons of beautifully made interactive courses on science, math, and computer. If you're also a fan of problem solving and enjoy a healthy, fun, solving, exciting problems, then you know where to go. Brilliant.org slash electroboom.